turning then to um, one last uh, tool uh, that we use a, a fair amount in access control. A lot of people are very interested in penetration testing. Now, um, there are a couple of mistakes you can make with regard to penetration testing. Um, like, uh, uh, you know, trapping the attackers with, uh, you know, honey pots and, and honey nets, um, you're not really sure, uh, what it is that a, a penetration test is, is going to give you, and you think it's a lot of fun, and, and just, you know, go out there and get it, and then, um, you don't get very much out of it. Um, a penetration test, I mean, there's different types of penetration tests to begin with. And, uh, you know, like a, a honeypot, if you, if you are not really sure uh, what you're doing this for, um, it's quite possible to uh, do a lot of work, which may be amusing, but really doesn't tell you anything of value to the enterprise and of value to our security. So uh, we, we need to be more focused. We need to be more disciplined about why we are doing penetration testing, how we are doing penetration testing, what types of penetration testing we are doing, and... Um, what we expect to get out of it. Uh, and one of the things that many people expect to get out of it, which you signally can't, and we'll go into this a bit more later, is uh, a risk analysis. A penetration testing team, particularly an outside penetration testing team, does not know uh, what the particular asset value is to you, to the enterprise. And so they, they cannot do the risk analysis. Um, you, uh, you will, you know, hopefully get information about potential vulnerabilities. And, uh, you know, penetration testing is good and, and you should do it. Um, but you should do the right kind and you should know why you are doing it. You should know what to expect from it and you should know um, how uh, to accomplish those ends, uh, making sure that you have the, the right type of testing uh, being done in, in that regard. And in that regard, uh, so you often have to know almost more than the person you're hiring in order to uh, get a proper penetration test. You have to have uh, a knowledge of, of what the possibilities are, and you have to specify in the contract what it is that you want them to do. You know, you want a network penetration test, and you hire somebody who says he's really good at penetration tests, but what he's doing is t testing your software. Uh, you know, that wasn't what you wanted. It's not going to give you the result that you want. Um, you wanted a, a an application uh, penetration test and this guy does a, a physical penetration test on your facilities not what you wanted well you know specify in the contract how far do they go how what type of of test uh is it that you are looking for uh what it, what are your expectations and uh in that regard the the different types of penetration tests. Um, there is zero knowledge. You know, you don't know anything about us, you know. Do a penetration test. That's going to be a bit of a scattergun. Um, it, uh, it may find things that you never thought of, but it may not. Um, so, you know, that's uh, uh, a bit of a gamble, maybe. Uh, but not to say that you shouldn't do it every once in a while. Uh, a partial knowledge, you know, here is our uh, IP address range. Um, here is our domain name. Uh, 
uh, there was one uh, company that put out a contract uh, for a penetration test and somebody did a penetration test on a different company with a similar name. Uh, you know, that was basically sort of a zero-knowledge penetration test and uh, it was certainly a surprise to the people who did get uh, penetrated um, and were not a party to any of this. Um, a full knowledge penetration test. We give them the address ranges. We give them uh, what operating system we use. Uh, you know, they have as full uh, as possible knowledge of our systems. Now, uh, this then uh, uh, comes uh, with some uh, variations. There is also blind, double blind, and targeted testing. Blind is, is sort of a, a zero knowledge uh, test that, that uh, we are uh, not telling the attacker specific details and, and seeing what they can find uh, in, in terms of vulnerabilities and weaknesses. Uh, then there's double blind. We don't tell the attackers much and we don't tell our defense team that an attack is going to be taking place. And again, you know, this may uh, provide information in terms of uh, how well do our people, uh, how effective are our people at uh, determining that a, uh, you know, detecting an attack uh, when it is taking place. And targeted testing, where uh, the penetration test team actually works with involves the IT staff and uh, facility um, that uh, the you know full range of knowledge is is provided uh, the the penetration people are uh, working in cooperation with uh, our people um, and and targeting specific areas of weakness as we find, you know, oh, have you considered this? No? Well, then let's look more deeply at this particular area and see if that uh, provides us with uh, an area of attack, a, a vulnerability. Are there specific areas that we should be uh, strengthening? Um, and again, targeting uh, particular areas. And we'll We'll go on with more details about penetration testing because it's a big subject.